came on a GTMA visit, Gage and Toolmakers Association visit, was so enthused by what I saw here and the, um, the, the, the work that was being done by the lecturers that, that I, I wanted to join. Six months later an opportunity arose and um, I, I applied for the position and got it. Uh, initially I worked in new product development as a senior engineer but now my job is specifically to engage with local industry, local businesses and, and show them how this technology can improve their business. The concept of the equipment has only been around for about 10 years. Um, the machine to my right here, um, it was, was the first titanium machine in the UK and uh, has uh, an, ad an advanced process um, on it to enable us to do um, the, the, the highly reactive materials like aluminium and titanium and it's one of, one of the few in the UK and in fact the few in Europe. We were the first people to do titanium in the UK and, and one of two countries, out, two, two facilities outside of Germany. This particular component here is a core to make this lens housing. Uh, this lens housing itself is um, faceted and making the facets using conventional um, molding processes, uh, t tooling processes is very difficult. So um, making this with additive layer manufacturing technologies enables you to make these, these spline surfaces very, very easily and also enable you to make the cooling circuits within, within the process as well, which would normally be made by drilling. This enables us to get the cooling a lot closer to the surface, reduce the cycle time. At the same time, um, the tool steels that we're using to make this are very, very hard and hard wearing and um, we're capable of producing millions of shots. This component here, which is made in titanium, is actually a uh, flappy paddle gear change for an Aston Martin and um, was, was made initially as, as prototype parts to, to enable them to develop the vehicle. The selective laser sintering of nylon that the center station here uh, does uh, enables us again to create a 3D shape in space and then li literally lay, lay a layer of powder down and go across it with, with a laser, put another layer of powder down, go across it with a laser, gradually building up the part. So for instance, this chainmail here was built up in situ. It's not been stitched together. It's all been done in one go. Um, Again, we have the ability to make very, very fine components using this particular process. And um, this process has been used to um, develop first off parts for many, many companies in the, in the, in the local area um, before they go into things like injection molding or extrusion or thermoforming, they would, they would make parts using this type of process and give them the first off so they can see, see what they can do with the component from there.